ethics is actually becoming a huge new field um, when we're looking at the uh, AI. It's becoming, it's emerging and, and coming into conversations because essentially when you're teaching the AI, it's going to take the bias of the individuals who are creating it. So if you don't have a diverse team that's creating it, um, you're missing things. And we see that even now with technology and automated technologies. Like there's things that sometimes are what you call unintentional oversights or biases built in versus then someone who's very opinionated or has a certain perspective, political perspective, gender perspective, identity perspective, and the AI is gonna learn that. So how can we broach this topic? How do we start to put safeguards in place and using AI to your point for good and, and can bringing us together rather than widening those gaps? One of the things I would say is critical, and we were also chatting about this outside, is just who's actually working on this. And at the moment, it's not a very diverse and inclusive group. There's such a need to have many more people with more diverse backgrounds involved, um, a lot more women involved. Um, according to one study, only 14% of those working in AI are women. According to another study, perhaps in a more limited data, was, was about higher, but still only like 20-something percent. So that is like an absolutely vital um, priority. And I also think that there's a lot of opportunity for women and minorities in this space of AI and emerging technologies. Because since they are so new, there's an opportunity to kind of get in at the ground level. Um, and example here, AI CEO, AI ambassador for Canada, um, look at fantastic role models. So I think it is, it is a huge opportunity. Um, and if we don't get that right, I think we'll see many more challenges with these emerging technologies, including in diversity lack of diversity and lack of inclusion.